Hello, I'm Michael Thompson, Chief of Police at Arizona State University. Statistically, the odds of being involved in an active shooter situation are very low. However, it is still important to know the options that you can increase the odds of survival. Active shooter situations are unpredictable, so there's not one correct way to respond. The chance of survival increases for those who adopt a survival mindset. What does that mean? It means being alert and aware of your surroundings at all times. And it means being observant of the behaviors and demeanor of others around you. It means immediately reporting all crimes and suspicious behaviors. And it means to always be aware of your closest exit and route to safety. The survivor mindset is a valuable tool that will prepare you to recognize, help you avoid, and increase your chance of surviving an act of violence. Hi, I'm Becky Garcia, the Crime Prevention Officer with the Arizona State University Police Department. The majority of active shooter incidents end within five to 10 minutes. And though we act quickly, it will always take a few minutes to respond in any emergency. So therefore, everyone must take primary responsibility for their personal safety. And as a public university, we cannot lock down the campus immediately. So this video will increase your awareness about the options you have in any potentially dangerous situation. No matter where you are, you must stay aware of your surroundings. Being distracted by a cell phone, music, or laptop will severely diminish your ability to recognize a threat. There is no one correct order or way to respond to an act of violence. These events are dynamic and unpredictable, and you will have to react quickly and decide your best option at that moment. This is why it's important to practice what would I do if situations so you are prepared to act. What's going on? There's someone with a gun out there. We should call 911. Yeah. What's that? Oh, it's the Lift Safe app. I can call 911 just by pressing a button. 911, what is your emergency? Uh, I'm on Tempe ASU campus and I, I just saw a man with a gun. Uh, I, I just heard a gunshot. Uh, should I pull the fire alarm? No, don't pull the fire alarm. Get yourself out to a safe place. Is there a side door or emergency exit near you? Uh, yes, there is. Uh, we're leaving now. Get out of the building! building. Jacob, do you need help? Oh, don't worry about me. Go. Thankfully, the young woman quickly realized the suspect had a gun and called 911 through the LiveSafe app. Then they heard gunshots and they realized running away from the sounds was the best option. Those who were physically unable to use the stairs quickly found a location to hide. And did you notice that no one took the time to gather personal items before running out of the building? Doing so wastes precious seconds. And believe me, there is nothing more valuable than your life. Now, we did not achieve our goals last semester, but in order to succeed now, I believe we have to... Ah, uh, one second. Where are those gunshots? I heard them too. Where are they coming from? I don't see anything, but they sound close. We need to hide. Lock the doors. Turn off the lights. He's right out there. Find a weapon to use. Silence your cell phones. Okay guys, remember, before you leave on Friday, you've got a quiz due. What was that? Stay calm, don't panic. That was a gunshot. Okay guys, we need to stay quiet and remember the training. Run, hide, fight. It was way too close, these doors don't lock. We've got a barricade. Grab the table. Grab something to defend yourself. If you're not prepared to fight, hide away from the doors. In the 
the conference room, the students heard gunshots nearby and determined running would put them at greater risk. So they chose to hide in place. They did whatever they could to make it appear as if no one was home. They locked the door, closed the blinds, and silenced their phones. Then they spread out and selected the weapons they would use if the suspect entered. Remember, whether you are one person or a group of 20, identify objects to use as weapons. It can be anything, a water bottle, a backpack, textbook, chair, you get the idea. Look around right now. If you were in the same situation, what could you use as a weapon? Now let's talk about the classroom scenario. The professor remained calm as she reminded her students of their options to run, hide, or fight. The gunshots were heard nearby, therefore running was ruled out. So whether you can barricade a door or not, follow the same procedures to make the room appear unoccupied. Lights off, blinds closed, silence phone, find a weapon, spread out. In this situation, the doors were not lockable, so they barricaded. Some chose to hide while others prepared to fight. You must assume that suspects' intentions are to kill you and everyone with whom they come into contact. When your life is in imminent danger, you must be mentally prepared to fight aggressively and give 100% effort. This group committed to action. They acted on their plan, remained quiet, located weapons, and positioned themselves. A predetermined survival mindset will enable you to react aggressively and quickly to overwhelm a suspect and stop the attack. Hi, there's a guy with a gun. Okay, where's he at? ASU campuses have emergency blue light call boxes that activate a 911 response. If you use a desk or cell phone to call 911 to report a crime in progress, advise them that you're on an ASU campus to get the most rapid response. You can also text to 911 in Maricopa County. Remember when the student called 911 through the LiveSafe app? This is a free app that all ASU affiliates should download. This app allows you to call 911, report suspicious activity, anonymously report crimes on campus, call for a safety escort, or even invite a friend to virtually watch as you travel safely from one location to the next. You are in complete control of your privacy. Now remember, don't pull the fire alarm in an active shooter situation if you're evacuating a building, as this will cause large groups to gather. And without putting yourself at risk, help others if you can. And after evacuating to a safe location, call 911 immediately. Trust your instincts. A survival mindset can make a difference in the outcome. Thankfully, the faculty, students, and staff knew their options and were prepared to react. Preparation is the key to surviving any act of violence. Law enforcement responds to emergency as quickly as possible, but our arrival is rarely immediate. In those first few minutes, you may need to take action using the option most appropriate for your situation. When police arrive, the priority is to stop the immediate threat, then to search for a secondary threat. If you're hiding, it's important for you to stay in place until officers give you further instruction. Here at ASU, we encourage and cultivate an atmosphere of dignity and respect, but not all acts of violence are committed by strangers. Sun Devils keep Sun Devils safe. So, it's all of our responsibility to advise a supervisor, a professor, the dean's office, or the police about concerning or threatening behaviors by any person on any ASU campus. Early notice gives us the opportunity to intervene and connect that individual with one of many avenues of support provided by ASU. Please contact us if you have any questions about crime prevention on campus. Stay alert and always remember your options. Run if you can, Hide if you can't, and fight aggressively if you must. Help us spread the word.